I really hate to be the bearer of bad news, but all this complaining about DoorDash and Uber and Lyft and how they don't pay and they don't treat you right and all this other stuff, to me it sounds like an excuse for not wanting to complete your future. You don't want to get out there and make something better out of yourself. You'd rather just sit on your ass and complain. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little insight. The other day I went past Bayonet Plumbing and they had an advertisement on their board that basically said they're gonna, they would train you to be a freaking plumber. The average salary of a plumber is forty four to 75000 per year. Did you know that? You don't need to go to school. They'll train you. And then when you get all the training done, they'll probably pay for your exam or whatever it is you need to get certified. And then you don't have to worry about how Uber and Lyft is, tra is uh, treating you. All I see is a bunch of people sitting on their butts crying about how horrible their life is because they can't make a living on gig work. Gig work was never meant to be full time. Many of us, myself included, went that route and it worked out great. But as with all gravy trains, guys, it, 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 there, eventually there's an end of the line. There's a final stop. You remember in 2020, food delivery was like hopping in the beginning part of 2020. Hmm? Now it ain't shit. Sunday, best day ever. There's no DoorDash. I do gig work on Sunday because it's the end of the week. Usually there's some type of quest, like today it's 28 bucks for 30 or for 10 rides. I, I, that's cool. I can stay in my little area and get those 10 rides knocked out and get that free money and not really drive, drive a lot. But guys, the world is your oyster right now. If you look around, take the time to sit on a computer and look around, you will see more opportunities for you because these employers are desperate. I saw on Facebook the other day that somebody had scheduled four interviews and none of them showed up. And the other one was 20 minutes late. They don't show up because they just schedule the interview so they can get their unemployment. And they're probably out there doing DoorDash as a side gig because it's not reported to the IRS unless you make 20000 or more. So they're probably double, double dipping. But here in Florida, that unemployment ended. It, at June 27th, I think. So your window is closing on you to get out there and possibly find some type of skilled trade that's going to give you benefits and a decent salary and you ain't going to have to worry about crying about how Uber and Lyft and DoorDash and all them are, are paying you shitty. I mean, it doesn't take a genius. I'm starting to think gig work's a cult because you just got people out there who, who refuse to get off those apps and find something that they need to do that's going to give them a livable wage. I don't want to hear that any, anymore about, oh, they don't give you a livable wage. It was never meant to be full time. You've got your moments where you make awesome money and you got your moments where you're sitting on your ass doing nothing. The, the gig work's not the same as it used to be. When I, I'm telling you, when I started, it was $2 a mile. It's 64 cents a mile now, I think. Ridiculous. But instead of crying about it and bitching, I chose to do something else. But I, I wanted to share that with you because you might find something out there where people are willing to give you a, a, a chance, as long as you'll come to work, and they train you for a, a decent paying job that doesn't involve <coughs> dealing with the, you know, customers like McDonald's and Wendy's. Speaking of which, I know McDonald's and, and Hardee's are hiring for uh, ship leads and ship managers and things, and that's a step up into becoming a general manager where they also make about 60000 a year. But what is it? What is it with people? They don't want to clock in? They don't want to have to be at work at a certain time? They don't want to be able to not do what they want to do? Y'all gotten too comfortable with this job. Being lazy. Not, a, not having to do any exertion of effort. You can thumbs us down. I don't really care about YouTube anymore. I really don't. Because 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm turning my focus on what I'm going to do for me. I don't know what that is yet. I'm hoping this business I started is, but, you know, we just take it one day at a time. But for those of you that did not know that there could be a plumbing or an electrician or some type of company out there that's willing to train you, help you get certified, and pay your way, you might look into that. If you're good good uh, with people and you got the gift of gab, there's online real estate courses that are, I think, maybe a hundred, hundred, maybe two hundred dollars that you can study real estate and still do your little Uber Lyft on the side, get certified, start selling houses. It's a booming market. Had a lady at the market yesterday told me her house closed in 22 hours. It's a booming market. Most commissions on real estate sales are one to three, maybe five percent. Once you get certified, you go work with a broker who will take you under the wings, like Coldwell Banker, Century 21, and you split the commission at start until you get good at what you're doing, and then you can go on to do your own thing. But everything that you want in life requires effort, and you're not going to get it with these apps. This is not a career. All right? That's all I got. Ciao.